Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And welcome back to another craft with me. We're going to work on um, the farm Christmas journals today. And we're going to try and start using up the ephemera that we made from our collage papers and um, in our um, scrap busters videos. So let's just get started and have fun. All right, I zoomed in a little because I thought it would be a little easier for you to see what I was doing. Oops, now I'm bumping the camera. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so in the last video, we played with our Christmas cards and um, decided what we were going to use those for in our journals. And I added a couple more, and we'll play with those maybe in a later video. Um, but for now, I'd like to go ahead and start adding my pockets and um, all the fun stuff into our journals. So my friend Sarah sent me um, this Christmas snippet roll. I absolutely love it. So we're going to put a snippet roll pocket in each journal. So let's just find a spot where we want to put it. I'm going to do a snippet roll pocket in one side of the signature. And then I'm going to do... Um, one of these beautiful, beautiful um, yo-yo pockets in one side of the signature. So let's just, um, I don't want too many, too, too many pockets, you know, everywhere. But I love, love, love this digital. But this is also a digital. I think it's called Rusted Tin Backgrounds. And I love being able to print those on the back of, you know, my other digitals. So, that was fun. Let's see if we can put a pocket here. And since it's got the rusted tin here beside it, let's do the yo-yo pocket here. So, I think I'm just going to cut it about here. I think I'm going to cut it on the other side of this little heart so that, um, you know, I don't want to have to cut the heart. All right, let's see if we can just go right along the side of it. All right, I think this will be super cute, and I love the strings hanging off. Okay, and I think, too, I want to put something up here at the top just to add a little color to the page, so we'll do that in just a second. I need to find my fiber tack. Here we go. Alrighty, I am so hungry. I ordered a salad from DoorDash, so I thought, well, I'll just do a video real quick before I get my lunch, but I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach growling, but it's being really loud. <laughs> I am, I'm really hungry. So today is the day before Thanksgiving. And so I want to wish everybody a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And I know um, we can't, you know, gather like we normally do. Um, so stay safe and stay healthy. Um, but I want you all to know how very, very grateful I am for each and every one of you. Um, you each touch my life in a special way, and so I hope that you can know how very much I appreciate you. So, you'll probably see this video after Thanksgiving because I already, today's the day before Thanksgiving. I already have a, a video scheduled for tomorrow um, to be released, and that way I don't have to work tomorrow. I can just um, spend my whole Thanksgiving day off. And, um, and so you'll probably see this video on Friday, so it'll be on Black Friday, which, um, I'll be having some sales coming up, so y'all be looking for those in the shop. I'm, I haven't decided if I'm going to do Black Friday or if I'm going to do Cyber Monday. I, I'm thinking I'm going to do Cyber Monday, so be looking for that, um, so, if you want some goodies, and I'm thinking that I'm probably going to try and do a live sale here pretty soon as well. Okay, we need to do something as a decoration on this page here. What do we want on this page here? Um, I spent last night cutting out a bunch of goodies 
um, so I cut out a bunch of stuff all those little um, ads and stuff that y'all that I had printed and so uh, let's see if we can find something that we want to put on the page maybe we can do like a little collage on the page I absolutely love these vintage ads <laughs> Hang on, I gotta sneeze. Oh goodness, that one felt like I was gonna blow my brains out. That was a really hard sneeze. But anyways, I think these are super cute in there. Um, it's this is not very Christmassy, but I'm gonna add some stuff. Um, I've got some scraps over here. Oh, I need a bigger table, y'all. I've decided. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have some of these, um, uh, excuse me, goodness, these are wrapping paper scraps, and I think it would be cute to do like a little collage here with the barn and that little ad, and it'll just add some color up to the page. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use this one here. I think I want to use something else, Christmassy, something a little Christmassy. It would be cute with the tractor, not that tractor. We have a tractor, but that's kind of too big. That would overwhelm the page. Okay, let's see. Well, maybe I'll just do something simple up here at the top. Let me get um, one of those little uh, oh good, labels. It's a label. <laughs> Hang on, let me find them. Okay, so I have these labels, so I think one of these would be cute to cut and put up here. And then um, I, ha I had found these little truck labels at Hobby Lobby, and I think they're so adorable. So these, uh, each of your kits, the um, Christmas kits, had one of these in it. You know, what I think I might do is just kind of do a little collage like this. So we can put the label down first and then put this down. And then I had I had done some little stamps for like little Christmas stamps, some handmade stamps. And I can do a video on this if y'all want me to show you how I did it. But um, they're just like little teeny um, pieces of book page that I put little pieces of napkins on. And, um, and then did some stamping on them and made them look like stamps. And then I cut them out with that little jagged edge. So maybe we can use this one because it's colorful and it'll add some color in there. We can put that one right there. So if y'all want me to do a video on these, just let me know. Um, and then I think I want to do... Uh, Let's do this Christmas joy here. Goodness, I don't know what is up with the sneezing. Well, I do. I sneeze like that like 10 times a day. It's like, and it's like when I start sneezing, it's a sneeze, 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 sneeze. Okay, so we can put that there, and I think that will be super cute, and it'll add plenty of color in the background to let you know it's Christmas. Okay, so I think the first thing I need to do, can y'all see what I'm doing? Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and take the label off. This is just like a, a Christmas package label, but I love using them in my journals. Okay, so we can just put that there. And then let me grab a glue sheet here. We're going to use some of these. I got these from Calico Collage. They're super cute. They're just digitals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's see. We'll turn this over and put a little glue on him. I'm going to scoop that over out of the way.
that with a big glob of glue. Okay. Well, goodness, we got lots of big globs of glue. Try to get the air bubbles out. Okay, and then this can go here. See if we can smoosh those glue uh, gobs in. Okay. Put that there like that. Super cute, and then our Christmas joy label. I put that right there. I just think that's <clears throat> a little more colorful than the greetings that's on that barn paper. Okay, so now. We just need something to go in the pocket. Um, and this is the fun part, because here's all of the goodies, um, those ephemera pieces that we made. So let's pick something to go in this pocket. Um, and I'm thinking we need a tag. And I'm thinking this one's cute. And in the back, we have a little tag in there too. Oh, and it's cute. It's got the barn with the postal. So that's that actually works out super cute to do that that way. Okay. So we can put that down in there. And then we might put something else in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Um, actually, we have these cute little mason jar tags that I got from Hobby Lobby. Maybe we'll just tuck one of those down in there. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So now... That pocket is finished. All right, so now we need to go to the back of the journal and find a spot for our Christmas uh, snippet roll pocket. And maybe we'll do it here since this is such a plain spot. Maybe we can do, I don't know that I want it with all the greens up against that mint green. So let's see. This piece might work. Let's try it and see what it looks like. Okay, and so if we go here and then cut right about here. And then, you know, you can use this piece for whatever. Okay, but see if I put it on that way, then the greens aren't touching each other, so it's not such a um, big deal. All right, so let's just go ahead and add this one on here. Let me find a clip to hold my page open for me. Trying to remember how I wanted to glue it in. Okay. And I think I would like to use one of these mason jars. Ooh, I like this snowman one. 
And I think I might want to, no, I don't think I want to put it. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a tab at the top. Mm hmm. I'm thinking maybe it might be better just to put some, um, you know, like just punch a little hole. And I think I'd like to punch a hole in the side and put some twine, some Christmas twine in there. Let's do that. Let me grab my hole punch. Okay. So let's just punch it right here. Like that. And... Ooh, I have this Christmas ribbon too though that would be super cute maybe we'll do some twine and some ribbon hmm I think I want to cut this smaller okay so let's just do this I think I just want to do the ribbon I don't think I want the twine too I think it'll be too much okay so if we do it like this and we use a little staple there that'll be cute now I have a little tiny stapler somewhere the question is where did I put it <laughs> oh my okay hang on let me look Hey, imagine that. I put it where it goes. <laughs> do y'all do that? You put stuff up and then you can't find it? <laughs> okay, so this is... I, don't, I have never purchased a tiny attacher, but um, a friend gave this to me, and it it's teeny tiny cute little staples too, so I like it. So we're sticking to it. I'm going to snip this little string off there. Okay, so we need something colorful in behind there. And you know what? Sometimes you just need a Christmas paper tag. And I've got some scrap Christmas papers here. Let me just dig through and see what I can find that would look pretty in the background of that. Hang on. Okay, I have these two pieces. And sometimes I don't even want to make a tag or, you know, something like that. I just want to put something in the back just to give it some color. Um, in a little pop. So sometimes I'll just take a piece of um, scrap um, paper. Holy cow, my brain don't want to think. <laughs> and I just round the corners because this is super easy to write on. Um, and it leaves the option open for whoever gets the journal to be able to um, you know, make it into a tag or make it into a little booklet or tear it up and use it for collaging the journal or whatever. So, um, it just kind of gives you a little extra something. Um, and then I have this one and I think it'd be cute to just tear it along there and make like a little tag to go in there. Let me grab my tear ruler and we'll tear it here and make sure I don't tear off the end of the truck. I should probably turn this the right way so that I can tear it straight at least. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. And then on this one, I think I might cut it a tag shape at the top. And I think I might round the bottom corners. This is a super easy way to make a tag, guys. And then, I want to show you something that I figured out. <laughs> Y'all know how I said I wanted some of the, um, uh, well tail, I wanted a well tail tab punch. I think that's what you say. I think that's how you call it. Um, well... A sweet friend of mine, Diane, said, girl, you got one. Use your circle punch. So, I did. That match is pretty good. Okay, so, I'm just going to punch a circle out of this. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm going to take this and stick it back in here just a little. I don't know the measurements because I just kind of eyeball it. And I punch there and then I'm going to turn it around and stick it back in. Try to get it straight. It's not always going to be perfect. Um, but now you have what is very similar to the well tail tab punch. And then you just fold it in half. And then I always turn it on both sides to make sure because sometimes you have a little bit left over. So I'm just going to trim that off. And here's where your ink comes into play. Oops. I'm going to take my ink and just ink around the edges and that way it kind of blends in anything that might be white showing in behind. So thank you. This was from, um, I got this tip from Diane Goolsby. She sends me journals in, in the consignment booth. So thank you very much, Diane. I had seen this before and I had totally forgotten about it. So thank you for the reminder. All right, so we're just gonna glue this bad boy on and make a very simple tag. There we go. And it's cute. I like it. So I'm super excited to get to make more of these. So if you have a circle punch, you can do this. Okay. That does it for that one. So let's just bring this back over here. And we're going to tuck this in behind there. And then you have a cute little stuffed pocket. And we'll do, I've got some in here somewhere. I have some clusters. Here we go. Let's see what we can use on here. Don't think I probably want anything with greens, but that one might be cute. Ooh, I like the Santa one with the music. Let's do that one. Okay, so we'll just put that on there. And it just kind of, I mean, it went from that very plain page to just kind of cheer it up and make it look super cute with some Christmas goodies on it. Okay, so I'm going to make this to where you can make it a tuck. I have the hardest time getting this little needle down into this glue. My eyesight is definitely not what it used to be. <laughs> okay, so I'll just tuck that down in there. And then we need something to go in there. Here is my little napkin. Make sure we don't have glue coming out everywhere. I don't want to stick the pages together. So we need something to tuck in there. And I have, have these vintage ads. So let's see if we can find something that will look cute up in there. This is from uh, December 1956. And I think this was from a popular mechanics magazine. So let's just fold it in half and add a little Christmas nostalgia to the journal. Hopefully that'll tuck in there, right? Yeah, that'll be super cute. So I'm just gonna lay this here for now to make sure that my glue dries really good before I try to put that in there because I don't want it to stick to that. Okay, so we can. Um, let's pick whatever else pockets we want in here, okay. So, I would like uh, one of these pockets in each journal. So, let's see. This one's cute. I like that one with the Christmas trees. Ooh, let's do one with one of these vintage ads. All right, so we could do two pockets in each journal. Actually, I might do more because I have, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. And I have two journals. So I I think two pockets in each journal. That way it won't overwhelm it. So we'll do a Santa and, and add one in that one. 
and I love this one. I think that is so stinking cute. And I want to do this one with the um, pine cones in the bowl. So let's do that one. Okay, so now let's just go in here. Um, I will use... I'll use these two in this journal and these two in this journal. So I'm just going to stuff those in the front cover of that journal for now. And let's go find where we want to put these. Okay. Hopefully this isn't boring for y'all. But I had some people who said I want you to, that, that, that they wanted me to do the... Oops, my page got folded. Darn it all. Um, they wanted me to decorate it um, as a craft with me. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. I think this one. Because I think that'll be super cute beside this paper. Okay, so let's do this one. Get my little clip here. You know what? Let's clip him at the top. Okay. See, I have such a hard time getting that little needle in there. There we go. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so we'll put this on the page here. And I'm just going to hold it down for a second. And get my little napkin because I always get too much glue and it goops out the sides. Super cute. Now we need to figure out what we want to put in there. Hmm. Okay. My sweet friend Susie sent me this bag of goodies last year and I didn't get to use it, but it's got these um, cute, cute little vintage Christmas cards or postcards in it. And so, I think I want to use one of these. I think I will use this one because I love it with the poinsettias. And I love how vintage it looks. Let's just put a little ink around the edges just for ink's sake, I guess. Just to make it look good and old. I think my lunch just arrived. Thank goodness, I am so hungry. So I think what we'll do is we'll finish this pocket and then we'll come back in another video after I have a lunch. And we'll finish this pocket and keep going with decorating our journal. And then I have a little, um, I love these playing cards. And I think they're super cute, especially with that little Santa. And then I love using these to put in journals because you can open it up and put your little secret message in there. So I'm going to tuck one of those in. And actually, I think that's enough to go in that pocket. We'll do this one somewhere else. So I'll save that one maybe for that pocket or something. Okay, so um, though we're getting started on our Christmas journals. I know I'm late this year. Um, but these are the only two Christmas journals I'm doing this year. I just ran out of time. So we'll play with them and have fun. And then uh, coming up in December, I'm going to do some different things. I know it'll still be Christmas, but I'm going to do some fun stuff in December, too. Um, might not be specifically Christmas stuff, but it'll be fun. So, okay. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please like and subscribe for me, if you will. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below, and I will see you in the next video. Big hugs.